Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can quickly track changes to documents using Google Docs. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in Google Docs. There are a number of different ways you can comment and track changes in Google Docs. You can do this working with other people or just editing on your own. And like many things in life, how you set it up initially is more important than how you actually use it. Returning to the Google Docs start page, I'll begin by opening an existing document. I can do this by moving my mouse pointer over it and clicking on it once. Before making any changes to the document, the first thing you need to do is make sure that the document is set up to track changes. To do that, we need to move our mouse to the top right of the page. There are a number of icons shown here, but the one we're interested in is the pencil or edit icon. Let's click on the small drop down next to that to see what we are working with. By default, all documents are opened in edit mode. This means that you can add and remove text, but nothing is tracked. There are two other modes available. Viewing allows you to share a final read-only version of the document, but we're most interested in suggesting mode. Let's choose that to see how it works. If I now delete a word, you'll see a line is drawn through it and a description box appears that explains what I've done. If I add in a new word, whilst adding the word to the document in a different color, a note is also created that shows I have made that amendment. Google Docs also offers a feature where you can tag other people who you're collaborating with in a document to alert them to any specific changes you've made. You can do this by simply clicking into the reply or add others box and typing the at sign. A list of your email contacts is then shown and you can simply choose who you want to add to the comment. If you want to work with other people on this document, you can quickly share it by moving to the large share button at the top right of the page. Clicking on this opens an options box and just like with the alerting feature, you can add people just by clicking into the add box and choosing their name from the list shown. There are two important steps to remember when sharing a document if you want to track changes. Firstly, make sure you give everyone editor access. This might seem odd if you want people only to add comments, but you need to do this so that they have the option to turn on suggesting mode when they get access to the document. So the second thing to remember is to add a reminder note that asks whoever you're sharing with to remember to switch on suggesting mode when making amendments. Once you're happy with that, click on the large blue send button to share the document. Now the final thing to mention when tracking changes on Google Docs is the use of comments. Rather than editing a document, comments are used just to add a note or thought related to what's been added to the document. Adding a comment is quick to do. The first step to doing this is to select the text you want to refer to. I can do this by moving my mouse to the text I want to select in the document. I'll then click and hold my left mouse button and you'll see I can slowly drag my mouse over the text until it's completely selected. And if I now release my left mouse button, the word stays selected. To comment on this text, I now need to move to the icon bar at the top of the page. From the icon shown, I'm most interested in the small speech bubble with a plus sign inside it. If I click on that, a new box appears. And as before, I can add my changes to this and alert other people to it using the at sign to reference their name. If you do reference an individual, you're also given the option to assign the comment to them for resolution, but this is optional. Once you're happy with the comment, to confirm that, click on the large blue comment button. You'll see that the text you commented on is now highlighted. I hope you find this Wago Guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like this video or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.